CompTIA A+, Core 1, 220-1201, Practice Exam. Questions 1 through 5. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 1. A technician is setting up a new UPS for a small office. The UPS is intended to keep critical equipment running during a brief power outage. Which of the following is the proper way to connect the UPS and critical devices? The answer is B. Plug the UPS directly into a grounded wall outlet. An uninterruptible power supply, or UPS, should always be connected directly to a properly grounded wall outlet to ensure stable voltage and grounding protection. This allows the UPS to function correctly during surges, sags, or power loss. Critical devices such as network switches, routers, and servers should be plugged into the battery-backed outlets of the UPS so they remain powered during short outages. Non-critical devices like printers and scanners should be connected elsewhere to prevent overloading the UPS and reducing battery runtime. Question 2. A technician receives a smart alert indicating a predicted hard drive failure on a workstation. Which of the following should the technician do next? The answer is C. Back up all data immediately and replace the drive. Self-monitoring, analysis, and reporting technology, also referred to as smart technology, detects early signs of drive failure by monitoring drive performance and error rates. When a smart alert appears, the technician should back up all important data immediately to prevent loss, then replace the failing drive before it becomes unreadable. Question 3. A technician must replace a failed SAS hard drive in a server. Which of the following replacement options is most appropriate? The answer is C. Install another SAS drive. Serial attached SCSI, or SAS drives, use a unique interface and controller designed for enterprise environments that require high speed and reliability. To maintain compatibility and performance, the failed SAS drive should be replaced with another SAS drive that matches the same specifications for form factor and capacity. Mixing SAS with SATA, IDE, or other storage technologies can cause hardware recognition failures or degraded performance. Question 4. A technician observes that a desktop computer shuts down a few minutes after startup. In the BIOS, the CPU temperature reads 100 degrees Celsius. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the shutdowns? The answer is D, overheating of the processor. A CPU temperature of 100 degrees Celsius indicates severe overheating. When heat builds up beyond safe operating limits, Modern systems perform a thermal shutdown to protect the CPU from permanent damage. Overheating can result from a loose or improperly seated heatsink, dried or missing thermal paste, a failed or obstructed cooling fan, or poor airflow inside the case. Question 5. A technician inspects a computer that repeatedly overheats and shuts down. In the BIOS, the CPU frequency is set to 4.5 GHz, which is higher than the processor's rated speed. Which of the following is the most likely cause of the overheating? The answer is A. Overclocking. An overclocked processor runs at a higher frequency than its manufacturer rating, which increases power consumption and heat output. A CPU set to 4.5 GHz when designed for a lower base frequency will produce significantly more heat, often exceeding the cooling system's capacity. This can lead to thermal throttling or automatic shutdowns. As explained previously, excessive CPU temperatures can also result from poor cooling, but overclocking adds additional stress even when cooling components are functioning properly. 
To resolve the issue, the technician should return the processor to its default clock speed or improve upon the existing cooling. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.